We just finished building the page that shows a single house and we have this entire area over here on the right with this word single map that we're going to go fill in with a map. Now I called it single map because this map's all about showing the single house that we, um, we just filled in over here on the left, over here on the right. And then later on we're going to add some nearby houses around it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our code and we're inside of pages, houses, uh, ID index. So the page for a single house. And we have this word single map down here, this div uh, that's almost at the end. So this should be a, a component. So come up here to the top and we're going to import single map from single map. And we're going to go convert this into a component. So we'll just add some angly brackets here. So this single map, it's going to need to receive the house, the same house that we've loaded up here into a variable coming from the GraphQL data. So we're going to just pass this entire house as a prop to single map like that. So now we're going to, we've got some errors right now because we haven't built this component yet. So that's what we're going to do now. Go into SRC components, single map. So there we go. And we're just going to import everything. So this is our second map, so we should be experts at it now. Um, this map is going to be a little bit easier because there's a lot less stuff going on. But we're going to start by just declaring the interfaces for the props that we're receiving from this page over here. So we're receiving a house, right? So we're going to declare an I house. Now houses have a lot of fields that, that we don't care about. So bedrooms, image, stuff like that. We're just worried about I need to know the ID, I need to know the latitude, which is a number, and the longitude, which is also a number. So this house gets passed to the prop, so we're going to have another interface, I props, which is a house that will be the value of this interface up here, I house. So now we can go and declare the component itself. So we're going to do export default function single map that receives the house as a prop and it is typed as I props. And then we've got this here, the, the, the body of our component, where if you remember, remember with Mapbox, you always have to control the state of your map yourself. So we're going to declare some state here called viewport and set viewport. And we're going to give it a default value. So use state. So its initial value is going to be latitude, longitude, and zoom. That's what you always have to set at the beginning of a map. And last time on the home page, we set it to a random location of our choosing. This time we have a house with a location. So why don't we just center the map on that house itself? So this would be house.latitude. So we have longitude, house.longitude. Longitude, like that. And now we just need to have the zoom so we're going to go with 13 for now. Cool. So at this point, there's not really much else logic we're going to do. So we're just going to return a div. And we're going to give uh, this div some classes. I think just one, actually. We're going to make the text black within it. And then we've got the map itself. So we've already imported it, React Map GL. And for this to work, it needs a number of props. So it needs all of the ones that we set up in the viewport state. We need to set its width. So we're just going to set it to 100% of the container that it's in, which right now is 50% on the of the screen on the right side. And we need to give it a height. So height is going to be a CSS calculated value of 100 VH minus 64 pixels for the height of our nav bar. And in Mapbox, you always have to listen for when the viewport changes, go and update the state with the latest version. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to add in the on viewport change prop, which is going to be a function that takes the next viewport. And it's going to pass that to set viewport like this, so that every time the user moves the map around, it will update the state and re-render in the right location. So if I were to just save it at this point, so 
big error. I'm just going to refresh. That should go away. Nope. Export default imported as single map was not found. Okay, it was just, just playing with me. So there we go. No token warning over here on the right. That's because we didn't set the token for Mapbox on this. So we'll add that in now. Mapbox API access token. So this came from process.env.next public Mapbox API token. Let's add that. Come back. See that if it uh, shows us the map, and it does beautiful, and it, it, it focuses in on Orangeville, which is where this house is. Now, remember we had a styled map for the other one on the homepage that was like a dark blue color. Uh, we just need that link. So we're going to hop over to map and just go and copy this map style so that we don't have to type that out again. Cool. So we're just going to do a couple more things. Um, for this one, I'm going to say just to have this map a little bit different. I'm going to say you cannot scroll on this one. So if you were to try to like, I'm, I'm moving my fingers like whoosh, trying to zoom in on the map, it doesn't do anything. I can still drag it around. So what if I actually want to zoom in? Um, and we're going to give it a min zoom of eight. What if I actually wanted to zoom in? I've got no controls right now. So we're actually going to go into this map so we're going to change it so it has an open and a close and inside of here we're going to put a div now this div will be positioned absolutely and where is it going to be positioned in the top left so we're going to say top zero left zero and let's add some padding all the way around p-4 so um react map gl comes with this thing called navigation control so we're going to add that in navigation control and we need to give it um, a couple options here so we're just going to say show compass false so just by doing that it adds this little plus and minus here and this is going to allow us to zoom in and out um, without zooming sort of with our fingers just to show you how to use maps in a in a slightly different way okay so we haven't shown where the actual house is yet so that's our the last thing we're going to do in this component here so we're just going to add the marker and the marker always wants um, a latitude and a longitude. So the latitude would be house.latitude, the longitude would be house.longitude, longitude, perfect. And we're actually just going to give it an offset left of minus 15 and an offset right of minus 15. Why are we doing this? Because inside of the marker, so let me just close the marker here. We're actually going to, it doesn't like offset right. No, it's offset top, sorry about that. Okay, thank goodness for TypeScript, no? So inside of here, we're gonna put a button that we're gonna make 30 pixels big. So I'm doing the offset left and top. So the button is over the center of the point of latitude and longitude. Otherwise it sort of starts on the top left and it's not fully, um, it looks a little bit wonky. So in here, we're going to put a button. The button is going to have an image. And this image is going to point to home color.svg. So we got to give it a class name of a bit of width here. And we're going to add an alt tag of selected house. Close that image. So if I were to just look at the map here, it's already looking pretty good. So we don't really have to do anything else here. Um, yeah, that's that's good enough. Um, the only thing I would add here is this is a type of button. So nice and simple. There we go. Here's our house. Um, it doesn't do anything when you click this one. When we add the nearby ones, we're going to make them a different color white. So they stand apart from the one we're, we're actually looking at. And those ones will be clickable so that when you click them, it will take you to the house and you can check out other nearby houses. So that is all I wanted to do on, on this page. Maybe just to be complete, I should be a little bit more specific about this being 30 pixels, height being 30 pixels, and font size being 30 pixels, just so that it aligns with this offset here. 
because I'm not sure if the W8 is exactly 30. So that will, I mean, it looks the exact same. So add it or not add it, it's up to you. But uh, we're good to go here. We've completed pretty much the, this page. The only thing's missing, so we get the nearby homes that I mentioned. We're also going to put a nav up here that will allow you to, if you're the owner or the creator of this house, matching your user ID with the house's user ID, we're going to give you the option to edit it and delete it. So that will also be coming up. That's it for this video. See you on the next one.